from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on Keep on driving and driving along the road to never end Lost my head on Vilma's back Between the jars and bottle jug Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving and driving Tuesday when you're probably watching this. I am officially into day two of getting back on track, getting into fat burn, getting my health journey back on track after the holidays. And if you guys watched yesterday's video, that was a struggle bus. Oh my God. I was like not entirely sure if I was gonna be able to like film today. <laughs> It's like, I'm feeling so crappy. I feel like it was such a negative vlog and I really didn't mean for it to come off that way. I just like wanted to show you guys the realness and show you kind of like how I was actually feeling and it was not good. I actually felt like I was getting sick. Actually, Zach is still sleeping right now. He's pretty much been sleeping for the past like week because he's trying to get better, but I thought I like might've been getting sick. Like it was just a rough day. <laughs> Um, and I will say I actually feel so much better and I think it might have also been because I did my check-ins this morning Today's Monday So I do check-ins Mondays and Wednesdays and I did my check-ins and I chatted with some of the girls in our tribe And they just like fill me up Like it's just so fun talking to them and just hearing about like how their Christmas went and like how they're doing and how they're feeling And even if they ate all the cookies like how we're gonna get back on track this week. So Anyway, I'm feeling much, much better today. Um, that is not to say that I may still get some headaches today. Day two of getting back into fat burn is usually pretty yucky. There's headaches, there's hunger, all that fun stuff, but I am just like ready for it. I'm feeling so much better and feeling like in routine and it's amazing how bad I felt not being in routine. And I was in a really strong routine going into Christmas and look where that got me <laughs> like i indulged on christmas and you can see it in my face you can see it in my demeanor in my video yesterday but i am already feeling so much better and it just really goes to show that if you have your health on track literally everything else feels like it's in your control so i am actually already on to fueling number two i'm sorry it took me a while to introduce this vlog but i am having fueling number two here i made a cinnamon cream cheese swirl cake waffled in my dash this morning i don't have any more pancakes left in my pantry so i just decided to do a cinnamon cream cheese swirl cake super bomb if you guys haven't tried that and i did made it in my dash if you guys are brand new to plan make sure you get yourself a dash mini waffle maker i'll link mine down below so you guys have that i made that and then also made my nespresso there have been some improvements in the nespresso coffee bar as of yesterday let me show you guys what i got so yesterday i did find this like glass canister with this wood top i thought it was really cute at target and it just comes off like this i stocked it with the starbucks veranda blonde roast 
so this is like just coffee pods for the Virtuo next and then down here is the actual blonde espresso which I have a really good idea for that coming soon I'll make it this week so I'll show you guys what I'm thinking but yeah I got this canister so that I could kind of hold my pods also found these clear glasses that I thought were super cute I need to get the label off but these were at Target as well and super cheap I just got two of them so that I could like see my coffee because I want to like see it now that it's so pretty and I'm just like slowly building out this little like coffee bar so I will keep you posted in my coffee this morning I did have three tablespoons of nut pods that counted as one condiment for my day and then I just made that blonde roast coffee actually really really good I just put the nut pods in my frother that came with an espresso and it was delicious and then it has been a couple hours since that even and I'm having my fueling number two right here so I made this in another vlog the other day and I was in a really good routine with this up until Christmas and I'm getting back into it I love making shakes out of my second fueling so that I can not only have a shake with my fueling but I can sneak in some other healthy ingredients and kind of like get things out of the way for the day so I do it with ice and eight ounces of water and then I sneak in a cup of spinach I'm telling you guys you really can't taste the spinach it's very surprising but you can't taste it especially in the chocolate shake a cup of spinach to count as one of my greens for the day which means I only need two more for the rest of the day and then I'm done and because I know I'm gonna be having chicken for my lean and green which is that middle category of the leaner proteins I know that I need one healthy fat and I actually like to have my healthy fat in my shake I do a teaspoon of flaxseed oil and again it's not like the most exciting healthy fat but it does have a lot of health benefits and when you mix it into your shake it doesn't taste like anything so I've actually got my shake here I'm about to drink it this is my full shake of one creamy chocolate shake one serving of my greens with my spinach and one serving of healthy fat with my flaxseed oil so I am gonna continue along vlogging today and I know it's already starting to feel like a better day than yesterday which is great um, I'm sorry if you guys felt like yesterday's vlog was a little bit of a downer I just wanted to give you the real real really feeling like my face is starting to somewhat clear up I feel like anytime I have sugar my face is just like like it just like explodes on me so here I am I'm gonna continue on vlogging throughout today I want to get some meal prep done I want to get my chicken made and just have everything prepped and ready to go in the fridge I'll show you guys how I do that but thank you so much for joining me on today's vlog I really hope these are helping anybody who is currently on their Optavia 5-in-1 journey or about to start their journey in 2022 welcome to the family here I'm absolutely so happy to have you here and we're gonna rock our health journey in 2022 because we are in this together I'm gonna go ahead and continue this vlog I will bring the camera along with me and let's get started you know the drama is never ending don't let it get the best of you and all the fake friends just keep pretending that's how the little things get huge paralyzing every pore oh you feel it taking over you today just because when I have food prepped means I have no excuses <laughs> so I actually already made the chicken and Zach is alive today you want to say hi hey hey so he is feeling better almost there um, and he chopped up my chicken which is awesome so I've got honestly I feel like this is gonna last me four days what do you think four days Sure. four days ish <laughs> 
This goes really, really fast. This is two packs of the thin sliced chicken breasts from Target. And if you guys haven't seen my full chicken meal prep video, I'll link it right here so you guys can see like the full recipe. But yeah, I like prepping a bunch of chicken like this plus some veggies. So today I'm gonna do broccoli and cauliflower as well as mini bell peppers. Um, I'm gonna actually prep that next on camera so you guys can see how I do it. But whenever I have lean greens prepped, it just like kind of takes the guesswork out of it and I always just have everything ready to go. I don't prep everything in individual containers anymore just because we work from home so it's easier for me to just like grab what I need. Whenever I do make my lean greens, I just measure out six ounces of this grilled chicken. I do half a cup of my bell peppers and then half a cup of whatever other veggie I have. I'm gonna combine the cauliflower and the broccoli so I'll do half a cup of that. And then my other green was my one cup of spinach in my shake that you guys saw this morning. So that makes my full lean and green meal plus my flaxseed oil for my healthy fat. So anyway, I'm gonna prep the rest of that on camera for you guys today. Also put some makeup on so I can feel alive again. I highly recommend for anybody who is like feeling so blah this week and feeling so out of whack, especially if you guys work from home, just put some makeup on, just like get dressed, get ready. Like I was actually also gonna wash my hair today, but I couldn't be bothered for that, but I did get some makeup on. So I feel like we're winning. So I'm gonna prep the veggies for my lean and green and then I'm actually gonna make my lean and green cause it's just about time for that. I've got my container and everything ready to go so I will show you how I do it. recording and apparently wasn't when I was actually like putting the ingredients into the pan. This is six ounces of grilled chicken and on my chicken, the seasoning that I do, I just count it as one condiment. So this whole lean and green has one condiment, six ounces of grilled chicken for my one leaner for the day, and then half a cup of bell peppers for one green, half a cup of a broccoli and cauliflower mix for my second green, and then the spinach in my shake this morning was my third green, plus my flaxseed oil is my healthy fat. So this is gonna be my full lean and green, and then I added in half an ounce of almonds for one optional snack. I really like the crunch and like nuttiness that it adds. I just add it at the end of my stir fry with a little bit of like olive oil spray. Super, super good. And this is going to be my full lean and grain for today. I am starting to feel a headache come on, which is not fun. Um, but anyway, this is totally normal. So whenever you're getting back into fat burn, your body is like getting rid of its excess carb and sugar stores. And that can result in hunger pains slash headaches and the headaches are pretty terrible. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it right now. So I actually also grabbed myself some ibuprofen. Um, I'm going to take some of that really quick and just move along with my day. I'm gonna try to ignore it. It's not there, it will not consume me. Um, I'm gonna have my lean and green and I will check back in with you guys as we go about the rest of our day. Tell me how to close it to ya. Tell me how and I'll do it, babe. I just wanna make you feel we do about you So just tell me how and I'll do it, babe Today we got a package to 
today and I'm excited because I think I know what this is. However, it feels much heavier than I was expecting. So we'll see. This is supposed to be a fun way for me to make lattes with my Nespresso. This is double wrapped. <laughs> like what the heck? Okay. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Okay, this is sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon syrup. <laughs> sugar-free brown sugar cinnamon syrup. I say that five times fast. It's glass, which makes more sense for all of the packaging. Here's my thinking. My favorite drink, I think, of the year at Starbucks has been the iced brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. When those originally first came out, I was like, eh, it's probably not that good. It's good. And I am dying to make a healthy version from home so that I can still enjoy it even while in fat burn and being on my healthy journey. And I'm thinking this might work. So I had to order this on Amazon because the only other place I could see that it was sold was Walmart. And I, when I went to Walmart, it was not there. So ordered this. I'm going to link it down below for anybody else who has been searching for something like this. I think I can make it here with my Nespresso. It's definitely not going to be the same thing, but like it's going to be like really close. So I'm like really excited about that. Anyway, stay tuned. We are going to use this and it I think is going to be delicious. Okay, last but not least, it is time for fueling number five. And if you guys saw, I actually prepped this fueling ahead of time. It is the chocolate fudge pudding. And if you let the chocolate fudge pudding sit for a little bit in the fridge, ideally for like a couple hours, it gets like really thick and almost like fudgy, really, really good. So this is my chocolate fudge pudding that's been sitting in the fridge for two hours now. And if I mix it up, let's see if it works on camera. Yeah, looks like real pudding. So it gets much thicker than as opposed to you just like making it and eating it right then. Fudgy consistency, thickness is great. This is gonna be fueling number five. I am very surprised that I have like an energy kick right now. I thought I was gonna be feeling like dreadful by the end of this vlog, but I feel like I'm doing good. I just put up yesterday's vlog. I hope you guys watched it. If you didn't, it will be linked down below. I hope you guys love these vlogs that are just gonna happen daily for as long as I can. Just to be a part of this accountability journey with you. I'm sure everybody is kind of on the struggle bus this week, but as long as we do it together, we can conquer all. So I'm gonna go ahead and have fueling number five and close out this vlog. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you guys liked this video, please like the video down below, as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload, because I'm gonna have new videos coming to you guys as soon as I possibly can. And I cannot wait to share this healthy journey with you, especially heading into 20. 2022. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.